so we can turn it off as well. Okay, so I have bought these Rembrandt Rembrandt watercolors. Um, as you can see, I bought four pens. Um, this is Persian blue. Uh, Van Dyke brown. yellow. Um, my mother-in-law yesterday was very curious what it was, so I opened up this one. It's a bit sticky. I don't know. This is uh, called a full pen. Um, you might need the information that's on here, so... to lose quite a few things every once in a while. Um, there, this one. Then I bought a Van Dyke brown instead of a black. Um, I've debated on it for quite a while, but if you use black it intent, tends to get muddy. So, um, although I do like to use a lot of black in my work, we're gonna try something else. Um, but now I've got a brown as well, so I thought this is a win. Try new things and have a new color. So this is brown. You can't really see it's brown. <laughs> it's a good thing I know it is. Um, the yellow or the the red. and better quality. I've never used proper watercolors before, so I have no idea what to expect. That's why I bought three the primary colors. To make it easy, because you can mix all the colors. And um, I can always add colors when I feel like I miss something or I want to expand a bit more. This is just a normal sketchbook, by the way. Nothing special. Not a watercolor one. So no pressure to the wood bell or goods or anything like that. Okay. Let's try red. Oh wow. 
not so bright. They're both so bright. It's more of a pink. I was expecting more red, but... And then we've got more yellow. Again, it's so pigmented. The lady in the shop was right. <laughs> They're far more pigmented than student grades or something that you have lying around <laughs> like I had. This is definitely brown. <laughs> okay, let's add the names. So we have Persian blue. This is just yellow. And then we have just the reds. And just the blue. Let's do red. Okay. 
that. Add a little bit of glue. There, the color wheel. I kind of want to try out the brown as well.
last but not least, you know. we've got well, not all of the values but quite a lot of values now so I can use this ever as a reference um, I knew this already but I also <laughs> want to buy uh, a pen so I can secure these while painting and uh, I can bring them on travels or when I'm painting outside <laughs> I must say I'm very happy with them. I wasn't expecting the red to be this pink, but if I either saturate it a lot or mix a little bit of the brown in it, get a bit of more darker. I'm wondering what happens when I use brown blue. Probably is a good thing I'm using blues most of the time at the moment. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, no, the, those are really good. Um, I am gonna play with them a bit more and try them out. Uh, this is just normal paper. What you can see is it's granulating a lot. It's already warping. I've got some nice watercolor paper uh, as well. Um, also wanted to do a big step up, so I've got two types of watercolor paper to turn them out. Um, but that will be a struggle for another time, I think. I hope you've enjoyed me uh, drawing the landscape of this stack and now trying out my watercolors for the first time. And I hope to see you next time. There will be no stream next week. Uh, I think. So next Wednesday morning there probably won't be a, a stream. But maybe later in the week, but I'm not too sure. Uh, I will let you know on Instagram. See you the week after that, then. I hope I wish you a very good day and see you next time. Bye bye, thanks for watching.